Всем привет, меня зовут Джастин, и вот это мой друг Луис. Hey guys, how's it going? Как видите, он же британец, который только что начал учить русский язык. Привет, ты ты пиз... пиз... Луис из Англии. Очень многие из вас в школе учили британский английский язык. Но, если вы не знаете, то есть очень много слов, которые на самом деле отличаются между британским английским и американским языком. Так что сегодня мы разбираем очень много разниц между американским и британским английским языком. Апартмент. Flat. Starter. Appetizer. Bangs. Fringe. Fringe for us is the area on a golf course by the end of where you're putting. So where you have the putting green, the fringe is like the really small grass around the edge of it. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's the fringe. Yeah. Candy. Sweets. For me, sweets sounds like something that your grandparents say. And when somebody says sweets, it's like they're super old. That's how I think about it. Yeah, for me, candy is maybe the boiled things or the horror film. <laughs> There's a horror film called Candy. Candyman. Ah, uh, the Candyman. Okay, yeah. okay. Cell phone. Mobile phone. Chips. Crisps. Closet. No, wardrobe. 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 That reminds me of the Chronicles of Narnia. It sounds so official. Cookie. Biscuit. Biscuits for us are something that like you bake in the oven and it's like a warm breaded, not dessert, but you eat it with like soup, for example. Cotton candy. Candy floss. Counterclockwise. Anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise sounds like you hate clockwise. Diaper. Nappy. Drugstore. Pharmacy. Pharmacist. Chemist. Which reminds me of like a medieval movie. I think of like sorcerers and wizards. Or I think of a chemist as someone with like a university degree that teaches only chemistry. Eggplant. Aubergine. Why you guys call it eggplant? Why is that? It's because it, when it's really, really small, it's white and it does look like an egg. So then why do you call it aubergine? For the color. The, this like really dark purple. You have different colors in British English? Yeah, yeah. Aubergine. Yeah. Does everybody know what that color is? Yeah. I feel like you could ask any American, nobody would know what aubergine is. Elevator. A lift. Лифт. Лифт это такое странное слово для меня, потому что я это первый раз слышу, когда я приехал именно в Россию, где вы постоянно говорите лифт. Так что да, теперь мне уже удобно говорить лифт, но для друзей, которые не в России, будет очень как-то странно. A highway. A motorway. When I think of motorway, I think of what you would read in like an official road book about the laws about the streets from like the 1970s. Расскажите мне внизу, почему мы drive on a parkway, no park on a driveway. Вот это же английский язык для вас. French fries. Chips. What we call chips are your crisps. Garbage can. Rubbish can or rubbish bin. If you say the word rubbish in America, people will immediately look at you like you're weird. Why did you choose that word? Gas or gasoline? Petrol. The thing is, gas doesn't make sense for a liquid. The hood of a car. I had a bonnet of a car. Think of a little old lady with a bonnet on her head. <laughs> License plate. Number plate. Just a number plate. Are there no letters? There are letters on it, yeah, yeah. Liquor store. Uh, off license. Why off license? Uh, because you need a license to sell alcohol to a certain time, and these shops used to be the ones that would stay open later, and they would be past the license. So uh, it's off license. Mailbox. Uh, letterbox. Letterbox? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. What about postbox? Uh, well, letterbox is uh, the ones where you, it gets delivered to your house. Okay. Postbox is the one that you put it in in the street to send it. We just said mailbox uh. for everything. Oven mitt. Oven gloves. I think that oven mitt is more correct because it's actually a mitt is when the fingers aren't separated and a glove is when the fingers are separated. Pacifier. Dummy. If you give a dummy, yeah. it's, it's stopping the baby from speaking, from making noise. Pants. Trousers. Parking lot. Car park. A part. Uh, we call it parting. Period. Full stop. Public school. Is it Public school is the one that you pay to go to. We have public school, which is free, and we have private school, which is where you pay to go. Yeah. But you have... Public, which is uh, the one that's private and that you pay for, or state school, which is for free. Bathrobe. Dressing gown. Anytime you hear gown in American English, it's feminine. It's for women. So that's interesting that a dressing gown is also for men. Yeah, yeah, it's for men as well, yeah. Shopping cart. Shopping trolley. Sidewalk. Pavement. But you, you never say sidewalk. No, no. 
Soccer. Football. 100% football. Može biti ja vam objasnu v drugom videu, no, da je tja, kot to ne znajte, originalne nazvanje soccer že bude soccer, a ne football. Ja mogu da vam objasni pot v drugom videu. Sprinkles for ice cream. Hundreds and thousands. Why? Because there's hundreds and thousands. So you say add some hundreds and thousands to my ice cream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stroller. Uh, push chair. Suspenders. These things, you mean? Yeah. Uh, suspenders? Yeah. It says you say braces. Ah, uh, it's true. You can as well, yeah, yeah. So what do you call brachete on your teeth? Braces as well. Those are also braces. So they just, like anything nerdy, suspenders, <laughs> braces, it's just all braces. It's all braces, yeah, yeah. Sweater. Jumper. I think of when the police say, we got a jumper, and a guy is planning to commit suicide. Take out. Take away. Thumbtack. Drawing pin. Tic-tac-toe. Noughts and crosses. Trunk. Boot. Turn signal. Uh, indicator. Undershirt. Vest. We call a vest is literally like a vest that goes over your clothes. Yeah, like with short arms, you mean? Yeah, where it's cut off. Uh, we call that a gillette. That sounds yeah. very fancy. Yeah. Vest. Waistcoat. Washcloth. Flannel. Zucchini. Courgette. Ребята, это все на сегодня, но расскажите мне, пожалуйста, в комментариях, мне очень интересно, какие русские слова именно отличаются от друг друга между районами, например, между Питером и Москвой или Владивостоком. Потому что все, что я знаю, это что у вас в Москве, я думаю, говорится шаверма, и в Питере шаурма, или наоборот, я уже не помню. Оставайте лайки и не забудьте подписаться на канал. И, кстати, Луис прекрасный художник, и поэтому, если вы хотите найти его искусство в Инстаграме, вы можете посмотреть, то его Инстаграм будет в описании внизу. И еще последний, пожалуйста, скажите мне, какие видео вы хотите, я еще буду снимать вместе с британцем, пока Луис будет тут в Киеве со мной. Это все на сегодня, мы увидимся в следующем видео. Пока!